this is Brett and we are in part two of how to calculate a mortgage payment and amortization schedule using Excel. Now we're going to stop here for a second and we're going to manipulate the spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how to kind of start to build the amortization schedule. So again, I'm going to go try not to go too fast, but you may have to watch this a couple of times. First of all, we need to go ahead and change some of these fixed numbers in our formula that we put in here into variables that we can change. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make room for that. I'm going to take our little title. Uh, I'm just going to drag it up um, a few uh, cells here, and then I'm going to put in some information. First of all, I'm going to put loan amount, and then I'm going to put rate, and I'm going to put uh, term. I'm also going to add um, a couple columns here. I'm going to add uh, principal balance. And you're going to see how this comes into play here in just a second. So first of all, let's go ahead and, and change our formulas. Well, let's, let's start by with this cell. Let's say our loan amount is 350000 Our rate is 4%. And our term is 360 months. We need to go back into our little formulas here and change uh, the, the fixed numbers in our formula bar to the cell. So uh, again, Instead of 4% here, we're going to erase that. We're going to point to cell B4. And then, uh, let's see, instead of the 360 number that we hard-coded in, we're going to point it to B5. And then for our loan amount, we're going to take out our hard-coded 350,000, and we are going to point it here to B3. Now I'm just going to simply go ahead and do the same thing for uh, my interest payment. Again, I've got to take the 4% out of my formula bar, point it to that cell. I've got to take out uh, the 360 and point it to E5. My loan amount to this. And on this one, it's a little different. I don't know if you remember this, but remember that PER where it's pointing to what period we are? Um, we want to point that over here to our period because what we're going to be doing is adding periods to it. So if you just take this one and look at the little crosshair and start dragging it down, oh, that's not going to work for me. We can do this. We can say equals this plus one, right? And then we take this and drag it. And that's going to give us all our different periods. We won't go through everything, but just so you can kind of get an idea that um, we need to set that up. I apologize if this is like watching uh, grass grow, but the, there is a payoff here for the, again, the nerds among us who like to do these kinds of things. So what you're going to do um, now is you're going to look at what is the principal balance at the end of period one. And it's very simple. It's going to equal your loan amount plus your, the, the principal payment that you made down on it. Bingo. Your new principal balance at the end of period one is 349495 71 Okay, now what we want to do is we want to be able to drag these formulas down uh, these rows so we don't have to retype them, you know, 900 times. But in order to do that, in order to drag it, we've got to t make sure that Excel is, is keeping uh, the right information in the, in the right place. And to do that, we've got to look at a couple of these variables. And we've got to put dollar signs in front of them so that they're fixed. So, for example, we want the rate to be fixed. So we've got to put a dollar sign in front of B4, which is saying that uh, that cell... We don't ever want it to change. Same thing with uh, B5. The, the rate and term, or, or the term is not going to change uh, either. And again, on a fully amortizing loan, the, the, the initial present value doesn't change. So just go through those variables and put dollar signs in them. Press enter, and you can highlight your box, drag it down, and you can see it's always staying the same here. Now, we're going to want to do the same thing with our interest payable uh, formulas for everything except the uh, period. See this A10? We want that to go down to A11, so don't, don't mess with that. Do your dollar signs on these others. Press Enter. And then when we drag, watch what happens. See how uh, the interest payment is getting lower and lower and lower? Well, take your principal, this, this formula you can just drag as is, Dra drag that. Look, you're paying more and more principal every time. The final step is just to take the principal balance. Sorry, I'm going to have to go to the next video. 